Subscribe to my friend, Prof Spielberg. He For more channels covering Supreme Commander 2, click the links down below. Join the Supreme Commander 2 Discord server. Maybe Alpha Hex will do something Dummy awesome thick. once we reach 1,000. Ladies and gentlemen, welcome to another Supreme Commander 2 cast. Is this the second one of the week? Yes, it is. I'm trying to keep this up, but it might be the last one for a little while because... I am super, super busy, and I have to really start focusing on the things I need to do, because they are... I have a deadline for these things. So guys, it might be a month or two, maybe three, that I only do one cast per month, but I meant to say one cast per week. I'm sorry, guys. Do not be alarmed. It was, it was, it was a good run, right, guys? So thank you guys so much. And for that, guys, subscribe to this channel. A lot of you guys are watching and haven't subbed, but you're watching. Come on, hit that subscribe button, ring that bell, and be notified of my latest videos. That would mean a lot to me and help me out a whole lot. And it's free. Free for you, free for me, helps me out. So let's get this rolling. We haven't had a 4v4 here in a very, very long time, but today I decided to do it. And let's introduce the teams. We got Team 1. I need to get a new mouse, I think, because I'm I'm really starting to go eh, 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 over the thing, and you can see that my my circles are not smooth at all. But I'm moving in a smooth circular pattern. I I think I need to get a new mouse or a new mouse pad. Maybe this mouse pad's worn out. So anyhow, team one is over here toward the south, over the left hand screen, and team two is over the right hand side of the side of the screen to the north. So um, yeah, here we go. I'm gonna introduce the players. Let's see who we got here. We got Munjin Ra spawning in as the green or baby puke green or whatever you want to call them. Let's call them, let's say green. Munjin Ra spawning in as the light green UEF commander dropping down a research station and then a sea factory, aka a naval factory. Very, very nice. And let's see who the air player is, guys. We got air right here for new players right here in the center. We got point who is land and we got this the naval players right over here and over here sometimes this spot since that lip is sometimes hard to get a land factory could be double air if you want to do that so that is just this these are guys are these guys are pros so they know what they're doing so in the air spot we got fortuna spawning in as the green you have commander dropping down a double air factory opener and doubling up with he probably should be doing the commander trick or at least having one on each side because that's the most efficient like right here he's, he's getting diminishing returns should have one on each each builder you add to a factory loses its uh, effectiveness right so just to let you guys know that so we got osmo spawning in as the purple aeon commander dropping down a research station and an air factory then getting a second air factory very well done right there and then we got Elegant Psycho spawning in as the red Aeon Commander dropping down a land factory and a double research station opener. Very interesting. He could really get overrun very, very quickly. And let's see who we got here. We got ACAB spawning in as the... Let's try that again. We got ACAB spawning in as the brown UEF Commander dropping down a, a secret air factory. He's got a land fact... And just kidding. A sea factory, a naval factory, a research station, and a secret air factory. He's pushing up with these Macedons. Going to do some damage. And, ooh, we got some scouts going on here. We see what's going on. We see what's happening. We got... Who is this? Colin Niles 10. Colin Niles 10 spawning in as the white UEF commander dropping down a double air factory opener and a research station. And then we got some tricky dude over here who ran away. He put his mass extractors. He's getting a whole bunch of stuff. He's trying to hide it, but it didn't hide very well because it got scouted by Fortuna. Who is he? We got a guy named UEF. I don't know who that is. UEF spawning in as the Baloo. Okay. That's funny. I was going to say UEF commander. Spawning in as the Baloo Aeon commander. UEF, okay, let's try that again. UEF spawning in as the blue Aeon Commander, dropping down a whole bunch of research stations, probably going to teleport in and do some damage. Let's introduce the last player, though. We got the Protector spawning as the Teal Aeon Commander, dropping down a triple 
Lamp Factory opener. He's probably got two when they get that third one. I'm going to go down here and check out what's happening because I know this guy is going to do some work. And we got these Mastodons uncontested doing some damage here. Elegant Psycho is repairing. Lost, uh, lost the Mass Extractor. You don't want that to have happened at all. We got some air units here. The Protector. No, that's not the Protector. Colin Niles is all by himself in air that's gonna not end very well for him. We got these Mastodons taking out these core mass extractors over here. Uncontested Mastodons going to do a whole lot of damage. And I think what happened with UEF <coughs> is that he picked random and he got Aeon. Definitely want to go... Well, want to go naval here doesn't really have anything to stop this this is what happens when you have nothing to stop the spread of the mastodons really honestly munjin rod doesn't need to keep building mastodons if he built like this many and just stopped he would have this area on lock causing a whole bunch of damage probably could stop doing this and switch into air really really help his team out now yeah these mastodons are going to get wrecked yeah, they got, they got decent AA, really good to help out, but probably going to die. I got my eye on you, UEF. He's got training on his ACU. Nice try. That's pretty funny. They know where he is. They know exactly where he is. But um, Elegant Psycho is ground firing. Can't hit the ACU unless he's got the torpedo upgrade. Yeah, they're trying to ground fire on him, but those do not penetrate unless... Yeah, they're not doing any damage. Hitting him right in the face. Don't have any way of damaging him unless you have torpedoes. So let's do a real quick check on what's going on here. So it looks like ACAB switched to air, which was the right thing to do because Colin Niles was... Really outnumbered in the air game. I like that he built one factory and saw that there was nothing there. Stopped it. Did some damage here with his with his Mastodons and said, I'm out. <clears throat> now, a bunch of anti-air being built for the Protector. So, not a bad idea. Because I don't think they have air. I think Purple Osmos is really winning air quite well and so is Fortuna yeah UEF and Aeon oh that's a nasty nasty combination and then we got Munjin Rod is spawning out oh he got battleships he's really going to get he's going to be able to reach in there and smack them really really hard and that's going to suck really bad for them but good job there Munjin Rod good good thinking and then what is what is Elegant Psycho up to he's just got a whole bunch of units definitely the right thing to do there so, UEF is able to take damage now, but he is over here. <clears throat> he has rogue nanites now. He is, I'm going to keep an eye on him because he's going to do some stuff. And what I mean by stuff, he's going to mess stuff up really bad. Now, this is pretty good here. These units shoot away these mastodons, maybe? I don't know. But they're getting bombed. There's not enough units to take out these mastodons. Yeah, a bunch of anti-air. Is there enough air units? No, I think Team 2 is down on air there. Even with that anti-air, not going to be really helpful. And look at this. UEF is in here causing havoc. Where is he? Doing some damage. Being really, really annoying. Getting some rogue nanites. Healing up. He doesn't have shields, so he's kind of vulnerable. Um, these units aren't going to do a whole lot. Bombers aren't going to do a whole lot. Need a lot, lot more units to do damage. Where did he go? Oh, goodness. He got overcharge. He's after Fortuna. He's going to even out the air game. But a bunch of bombers come off on him. And will he live or will he die? And no, he's going to die. Boom. Down he goes. But he takes Fortuna with him. So UEF, who's actually an Aeon player. That's why he's teleporting around the map. Takes their main, the main air player for Team 1 with him. That is going to change the dynamic very 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 much in this game 
And yeah, I mean, what did team to lose? Like all that UEF was doing was harassing their opponent, the opponent as a as an ACU, right? So they didn't lose anything that was being built up here. In fact, Teal, who is uh, who is Teal again? My goodness, I know the name. The protector is benefiting from all this mass. Look at all that free mass. Build, in fact, build a couple of research stations. Half off research stations right there, dude. So, yeah, I mean, the protector, I mean, UEF, not a bad move. Not a, a, a very good trade, actually. I mean, I'm not saying that UEF wasn't doing anything. He absolutely did. But the fact of the matter is that he didn't have a whole lot of troops. He was just in, AC, in ACU, but he took out a whole air force, removed that from the equation, and now look at Osmos. Osmos is down on air. He has to split his air up to keep some alive. <clears throat> so yeah, a bunch of bombers. We got we see a mega fortress on the field. Going to be very very dangerous for Team One to deal with. Yeah, just melting units. Ooh, anti-air starting to melt the fair fortress, but the fortress said, nah, I'm gonna I'm good, I'm gonna live. And look at these battleships. They're reaching across the peninsula. Is that a peninsula? I think that's a peninsula. And reaching around, just destroying a whole bunch of stuff. Now Munjin Raw needs the tech switch, in my opinion. I mean he could keep building Naval, if he wants. Oh, he did tech switch. Good job there. Munjin Rob definitely saw that there was a need for air, and he did it. The protector is not protecting. He's attacking, doing some good damage, and it looks like Red. Who is Red again? Elegant Psycho is trying to keep up. Yes, they took out. Oh, goodness. Did you see that, guys, at home? The... Air Fortress landed on a bunch of land units and all those land units just melted. They just got squishited and died. And this is a big blow to Osmos' production. Osmos doesn't have very much production right now. So Munjin Ra is coming back. Well, he didn't really have a whole Air Force to begin with. Now he has an Air Force. It's not very sizable. But it will be because he's UEF and he's built a whole bunch of air factories. Yeah, he's got, he's got like seven. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven air factories. Yeah, and he's got a naval. He's got a navy. It's just gonna harass all. Look at all those mass extractors gone. Like he did doesn't need this many Poseidons, but why not? Look at the damage that that they're doing. Not even one Poseidon has gone down in this exchange here. Now that's core mass extractors dead, core mass extractors gone. Now these things are worth it. These things are paying for themselves. So holding on, keep continuing doing navy was a good thing by Munjin Ra. Look at this, this factory and this energy generator is now dead, definitely gone. Is this factory gonna be contested? Another mass extractor gone. I mean, look at this. This is a no-build zone. Look at all those mass extractors. Look at all that. They just got denied. Completely denied. Now, a lot of... Unit... You know, a lot of factories went on... Pause. Why? Okay, it looks like the protector is going to build a whole bunch of... Research stations, and... ACAB built a nuke missile silo... So that is going to... That could really turn the game around. Especially if he nukes this army here. If he is able to guess where this army is going, take it out. That's really all they got. And this little air force here. Okay, that's quite a sizable air force, actually. So yeah, I like Munjin Ra's positioning here. He's got a bunch of battleships here. A bunch of battleships here. That is going... Like I said, it's denying mass extractors.
Okay, Munchin Raw is scouting. That is the right thing to do. Very good job there. Yeah, he's going to find that nuke, isn't he? Nope. He's going to see what his opponent has. Now, Elegant Psycho is pushing in. Is he going to take this stuff out? I think that is going to be the easiest thing for him to do. He's backed by Osmos and Munjin Ra's Air Force, so he's going to be A-OK. -okay. Colin Niles going underwater saying, you know what, brah, I, I got a bunch of Mega Fortress. I, I'm, I'm, not, I'm not about to die today. Probably needs to use them to destroy strategic this launch army here. Okay, strategic launch. Is it going for this army? That would be the best thing to take out, but <clears throat> no. Not going after that army. Okay, getting some uh, pull and smash. Okay, going after Osmos' production. Now, that was a good hit. That took out one, two, three, four, five factories and all the core mass extractors plus some energy generators. Yeah, that, that was a good hit. Now, this is going to really reduce the production of these Weedoo boats. These Weedoo boats are going to have a very, very hard time surviving. Well, they're going to survive. Don't get me wrong. Once they die, is that they're not going to reinforce quite as quick. But I know Osmos is rebuilding, so they will eventually reinforce. I like that teleport by the Protector. Got in to Elegant Psycho's face. Putting damage on them. Trying to prevent the anti-air. Osmos is still winning it. Winning air, is he? Yeah. Osmos and Munjin Ra won air. I think this is a big, big, big problem for Team 2. Team 2 has... Yeah, this might be it. Yeah, all these Aeon... Yeah, ICAB, I think, control Cade. And I think it's just about a matter of time before... Nope, oh, nope, nope. The Protector got bombed Oblivion, and I think Commander Colin destroyed. Niles control Cade. So, very well played there by Team 1 Munjin Raw, Osmos, Elegant Psycho, and Fortuna. Very good job. Awesome, awesome job. And it's not to say that UEF, Colin Niles, um, who are these people? ACAB, and I just said his name, The Protector didn't do well they absolutely did they did amazing and that was an interesting 4v4 right guys some some good tech switches by Munjin Ra and uh, yeah ACAB did a tech switch as well and we saw a nuke and the team that got nuked won oh goodness a space temple temple and it, yeah that was that would be nasty you don't want a whole bunch of these pulling smashes in your base taking your slowly killing your units and we saw air go back and forth between hands, so that was a really, really cool match. So, guys, um, here are the winners. Where is Elegant Psycho? Where's that ACU at? Oh, goodness. I don't know where he is. Where is he? There he is. There's Elegant, Elegant Psycho. And where's Munjin Ra at? There he is. And there is Munjin Ra. Hey, Munjin Ra, thank you so much for sending me the replay that was awesome of you awesome awesome job very good game hope i hope those at home enjoyed it so any of you guys like this video subscribe to my channel favorite it because it helps me out and send your good replays to still speaks at gmail.com just like munjin raw did or join the supreme commander 2 discord server and find me there and direct message me or you could even send me put a replay up on the, the channel on the Supreme Commander 2 Discord server where it says hashtag replays for Steel Speaks and at me at that so I know you did that. So yeah, I think that's enough of that. Comment down below. Well, man, I'm, I'm stumbling over my words. I've been doing that the last two weeks. I apologize. I'm going to try and get more sleep and try to be a little more alert here. I need to do that. I really do. So anyhow, comment down below. Say something nice about the players, about the match, because it was a good match. And say something positive, because 2020 has been pretty crappy. So let's make it better. It's up to us to make it better, because this is what we have control over, right, guys? So let's do it. So where am I in all of this? 
yeah, if you like what I do and you want to support this channel, I have a Patreon page. Click the link down below to get involved with that. Click the link down below to get involved with that. That's what I meant to have said. And if you don't like a if you don't like a a monthly subscription, you could also click the links down below and spend a dollar on one of my band's songs. That would really mean the world to me. Again, you're not obligated to do anything, but if you want to pay me, you can. So where am I in all this? Yeah, I think I'm at that time. Share with your friends, family, and foes because they need something inter interesting to watch as well. And as always, everyone, G G. Even though you were the one to